An elderly man died in a house fire in Kern Saturday, and tonight his family members are speaking publicly. Yeah, police have a message for the community. New specialist Garna Mejia bringing us this story tonight. Garna. Yeah, good evening. The Unified Police Department is investigating the cause of the fire and waiting for autopsy results to determine how 76-year-old Terry Levitt passed away. It's a loss his family is still trying to process. It was in the front room. Pictures from Terry Levitt's military service in Vietnam. And you can see it come pretty close to igniting. The few belongings his brother Kevin Levitt salvaged. I guess cut that big hole in the thing there and started throwing out everything else that, that was on fire. Unfortunately, 76-year-old Terry perished in a fire at his home in Kern Saturday night. Everything melted there, and I guess he made it to the door. Kevin thinks Terry tried to escape through the front of the house. His body was found just a few inches from the door. But I think he was standing up in the smoke, come, and basically he, he, he fell in the chair, and that's where he more or less passed out and then died. Kevin says it was a family member who was driving past Terry's house that saw the flames and called 911. I think the fire started in the back, in the kitchen. According to Kevin, Terry's furnace gave out around Thanksgiving, and he had a few portable heaters, but the cause of the fire remains unclear. It's kind of hard. It's a very tough time. I can only imagine for them. I don't have no money. That's, what, that's the problem I got right now, is coming up with money to bury him. While Unified Police continue their investigation, they say you can never be too vigilant. Let's all band together and get out there and check on our elderly, make sure that they have the proper equipment to stay warm, blankets, if they're using space heaters, make sure that they function correctly and that there isn't anything blocking those space heaters. As for Terry's family... That's just my brother. He's a good guy. They will remember him for his love of fixing old cars and his service to his country. And so, yeah, I miss him. Now, our thoughts are with Terry's family tonight. Uh, in the meantime, there are several resources for the community from safety tips with fires and heating this winter season to uh, financial resources. I'll add a few links to the story on KSLTV.com. Mike, Dini. Yeah, tough story. All right, Garna Mejia, live for us tonight. Garna, thank you.